Hey, what's going on guys? So I'll be doing a different kind of video. This will be a comparison between a fake Louis Vuitton and the initials belt and the real initials belt. So as you can see, the first thing you kind of notice here is just the buckle. This is not something that is necessarily a differentiator because this is kind of a gunmetal and this is a matte black. Louis Vuitton does sell both, so that's not a huge differentiator. They're just slightly different belts. Um, but then you do notice the pattern and this is kind of the main uh, way to tell is if you can tell here This is exactly symmetrical. So there's exactly the half a little star here and half a little star here Whereas on the fake one, there's more than half the star and less than half the star here So I'll go ahead and zoom in farther to show you that but that is the main way to tell So if somebody has this belt and you can see that it is not symmetrical or the star is like more than halfway showing or less than halfway showing Then it is a fake belt automatically because all Louis Vuitton belts are like this which is the uh, exact half and exact half so that is the main way to tell um, however some fakes are pretty well done and they do show exactly half the star so that is just one way to tell but it is a main thing another way to tell is this Louis Vuitton belt should be reversible this one here as you can tell is not instead the buckle is just kind of screwed in to the belt here so you're not able to use the belt in the reverse or anything like that you're not able to remove the buckle anything like that whereas as you can see on the real one here you are actually able to remove the uh, buckle here you can kind of push it through here and then it will come off and then you can flip it around and then use the black side instead of the pattern side if you're going for a more formal look or something so the real one you are able to remove the buckle and use it in the reverse if you choose to um, not all Louis Vuitton belts are reversible but this initials one usually is so that's another differentiator. Um, of course, one of the main things is just the quality of it. You can definitely feel the difference. Like this is a lot more textured than this one. This one's kind of smoother. They are still both textured, but this one's a little bit smoother. A little bit more leathery, of course, because it's genuine leather, where this one's more like a plastic rubber kind of feel. Same with the back. Uh, you can see on the back here, this one is genuine leather, and you can definitely feel that and smell it. The smell is very important as well, of course. Uh, if over time the smell will wear off a bit but it is important to smell it and if it does smell like real leather it's a better chance that it's real where this one totally smells like plastic and you can tell also just the feel of it's definitely very plasticky and such going forward goes to the uh, initials and things on the belt as you can see on the very center of the fake one here it does say louis vuitton and it says made in france however usually these belts will say made in spain i believe because authentic louis vuitton is made in spain it depends some uh, bags and things are made in france but i believe the belts are all made in spain if not most of them so that is an indicator and also you can just tell the quality the print and everything definitely not very well done another thing is it is in the very center of the belt which is not how the authentic belt is on the end here we do have the measurements and then that is the only imprints we have is the kind of stamp here in the center and then the measurements on the side whereas you can see on the authentic one we don't have anything in the center of the belt nothing at all and on the end here you can see the stamps and things you can see down in here there's like a little serial number and the item code and things like that and there's the uh, measurements and inches comes above the centimeters which is the opposite of on the fake one so that inches should be above the centimeter section and then we also have made in Spain here as you can see and the stamping is just much higher quality um, you can definitely read it very clearly it's very finely stamped very centered very everything like that whereas on the fake one it's a little uh, sloppier done which is of course uh, you wouldn't have that on a $600 belt so much higher quality um, in general is the main thing you will notice of course um, but like I said one of the easiest ways to tell that if someone else is wearing a belt and it is fake is that you will see this uh, unsymmetrical pattern. So that's definitely the main way to tell if you see that it's a dead giveaway automatically. Uh, unsymmetrical pattern means it's a fake belt. Um, everything else, you'll have to kind of, you know, take the belt off and inspect it and everything, which you might not be able to do if somebody else is wearing it. But if you do receive it on eBay or something and you are curious, uh, you can go ahead and look at the stamping and those things with the other things I talked about. So yeah, anyway, this has just been a quick look at the difference between a fake initials Louis Vuitton belt and a real one. Uh, as a, You can just look at the things I mentioned and get a pretty good idea. You can tell usually pretty quickly unless it's a really good fake if the belt is fake or not. So you can be safer when you're purchasing things on eBay or off Craigslist or something like that. You will get a better idea to know if you are buying a real product or a fake product. I hope you guys enjoyed this different kind of video. If you did, then a like or ding is always appreciated. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.